So the first thing that we need to know about is the chemical that we use. And Ray had mentioned bleach, which is the name that most everybody knows it by. Now, in the industry, we sometimes refer to it as sodium hypochlorite or SH. The difference between sodium hypochlorite and bleach is the consistency of the substance. Sodium hypochlorite is a powder. It's the active ingredient. And that is what's mixed with water to create bleach. Bleach, on the other hand, is just liquid. And it is simply the finished product that is the result of combining the powdered sodium hypochlorite and the water. So bleach is pretty much the common household name that we all know it by and what you can buy at the grocery store. Most professionals, they don't buy it at the grocery store and we use a significantly stronger percentage, uh, anywhere from 10 to 12%. That's pretty much the norm. And we will be talking about the ratios that we use on asphalt shingle roofs in a minute and how to achieve that ratio. So hang tight. So Ray's question is, can bleach hurt an asphalt shingle roof. And yeah, of course it can. In theory, anything can hurt anything if you're not using the right process. If you were to go and pour 20% SH on an asphalt shingle roof or anything else for that matter, it would probably cause some damage. And that is why we use specific processes in order to mitigate potential risk to our customer's property. I had mentioned that we use a 10 to 12% bleach, but that is just the starting point. That's what we buy. No one is really applying that to any surface without some sort of dilution. And when we're applying the SH mixture to a roof, we target a four to maybe a 5% ratio, depending on the severity of the organic buildup and the staining that's associated with that organic buildup. Now you're going to encounter different organic matter on the roof. Mostly what we deal with down here in Southeast Georgia is Glowio Capsa Magma. It is a nasty looking algae that's made us a ton of money over the years. And you hear people say all the time, never wash a roof. That is 100% incorrect. They are correct that you should never pressure wash a roof. If you see anybody or if you hear anybody saying that they're going to pressure wash a roof, tell them to stop, tell them they're wrong. They're going to cause damage and they're probably going to get sued. But yes, 100%, you can wash a roof, but you got to do it the right way. We use a soft wash process, and that's what's recommended by ARMA, which is the Asphalt Roofing Manufacturers Association, which is a collective of various roofing manufacturers that have come together to put together a process that's safe and effective, which helps to prolong the life of the roof rather than diminishing the life of the roof, which is what would happen if you used a pressure washer. So they recommend using a soft wash system, a bleach and water solution to kill the organic material. Their website says the Asphalt Roofing Manufacturers Association recommends using a 50-50 solution of household strength sodium hypochlorite pool chlorine uh, and water to remove moss and algae. Now this is a little vague because we don't necessarily know what percentage that they're talking about when they're talking about pool chlorine, but I can only assume that they're talking about something that's a little bit stronger than a regular household mix because pool chlorine is stronger than a regular household mix, typically a 10% mix. So we'll just base it on that, but they're recommending a 50, 50 blend, which takes us right back down to that five ish percent range to effectively clean an asphalt shingle roof. And if you guys are interested in learning how to batch mix to get exactly the right ratio, regardless of what it is, whether it's a 1%, 2%, 3%, 8%, you need to download Quote IQ because we have put a mix calculator in the app for you guys to figure it all out. You already know what size container you're using. You know what percentage of bleach you're mixing. You know what the target is. Now you enter all of that into the mix calculator and it's going to spit you out the exact perfect mix every single time. Not only have we built this app to make your business run smoother, to make it more effective, to make it more profitable, as well as send estimates, invoices, collect payments, but we've also put in a bunch of other great things like the mix calculator, like the 28 point inspection, all kinds of great things for you and your business to grow. So check it out. It's on the Apple and the Google Play Store.